Good morning, everybody. We're back at the bus. And uh, last night, we finally got, or we, not finally, but we finished up this panel here on this side. And I was able to get some mud on it before it got too late. Well, it was pretty much dark when I was doing it. So, uh, it's raining again today, so I think we're going to wait on doing the body work. We're just going to let that sit and we're going to move on to the next step, which is putting the metal on the sides. So on this side of the bus, this is where I'm going to start one window in each one of these panels going all the way back. And um, the windows are getting pushed to the top. So there's going to be a 20, 20 something ish. Well, I mean, because there's 20 inch extension, but I think we have to overlap. So 20 something ish inch piece of metal going in under the windows. So that's what we got to worry about. So the first thing I need to do though, is I need to extend this wire. This wire is for the marker light here. So I got one on this side and one on the other side that ended up getting cut. And I don't think we had any back here. So I need to go ahead and I need to extend those two wires on each side. And then we gotta come in here and we gotta weld these cross pieces that go underneath the window. So here's cross piece. It goes under the window. Let's grab some parts. We got some parts. <clears throat> Here's kind of how it goes. So this piece gets welded in there, and then this piece goes on over it. It's kind of the cap, and then that bolts into the sheet metal that comes up underneath this. So that helps, you know, to keep the water from running in behind the sheet metal. So and then this piece here is that trim piece that goes between the two windows so we got a whole bunch of holes we're probably gonna have to drill some of them are gonna line up <clears throat> but then they're gonna be some that that need to be drilled but that's pretty much the process so I'm gonna lengthen those wires we're gonna get these installed and then we gotta have to work on the piece of sheet metal that's gonna go up there and then this cap, this cap, and then the windows can come in from the back side and get bolted in. So we're starting on this side and we'll talk about what we're doing with the other side later. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.
it sound right, boy. Alright, here's where we're at. I think I'm going to call it for today, uh, but we got this first piece in. Um, and there's still a lot more to do, but I want to get actually the whole row in of, of metal in, and then I'll come back and start. Well, I got I got to fix fi that. I got to patch some holes in it. I got this big hole right here. This one was where the stop sign was on the other side, in the back. But I got a lot to do still. And then there's a railing that goes up here, or that I could put up here. I'm not sure. Like this, uh, the same as like this railing right here. It could go up there on top. So I gotta decide whether I'm doing that or not, which I probably am. And so once we get to here, you know, we're probably gonna have to do a stitch weld. That's gonna be kind of a pain. And then I don't think the next piece is even gonna reach all the way. So we'll probably have three pieces in here. But I'm done for today. I'm gonna come back and get after it tomorrow morning. So yeah, we'll see how far we can get with this tomorrow. It sound right, boy. Good morning everybody. I was uh, downloading some footage last night. Something happened and I lost pretty much all the footage of completing this side. So you missed me putting that top railing on. You missed me putting those putting those pieces in the middle of there. That was all pretty simple. I didn't have to do much there. It was literally just bolted in. I had to drill some holes, glue everything and screw everything in. And then you missed me putting the windows in. And you also missed me making this uh, railing, I believe, here. So what I did was I just took one piece, and you can see my cuts. One cut there, and one cut there. And I added that piece in the middle. And yeah, this side is completely done. Alright, good morning everybody. We are back at it. Yesterday we finished the windows on the this side of the bus. I don't think I showed you the inside. So there they all are. I thought I put them all up. Did that window fall? So that's that side. We're completely done over there, but we haven't done anything over here. So that's the goal for today. See how far we can get on this. I got a doctor's appointment later, so that's going to kind of throw a wrench in the plans. But we're going to see how far we can get. First thing we have to do is I measured the windows, and I believe it's going to be about 41 and a half inches of a gap that I need before I weld in my little support piece, which is, so here are my support pieces. All right, so this part here, this this is gonna get filled in because this part of the bus is gonna be a bathroom. Maybe not all the way up until here. That's kind of big, but maybe. Uh, so there's gonna be a bathroom in this part of the bus. 
So these three windows are the ones getting the treatment. They're gonna get the triple pane windows. And this is gonna weld in down here. I still need to mark and by 42 and a half inches or 41 and a half inches. And then tack these in, test fit a window, make sure it's actually gonna fit in there. And then we'll keep on going. But that's the first step is getting those in, making sure they're the right height. We'll get all three of those in and then we'll move on from there. Here's where we're at this morning. I've got this piece of metal right here is cut and ready to go in here, but it's not actually ready. I gotta take it and grind the paint off everywhere where it's gonna be welded, which is this entire seam right here on this side. This entire seam's getting welded. This seam's getting welded here. And then up there, it'll get welded to the other piece that goes across there and glued and screwed. And then at the top, I can't remember what we're doing. What are we doing at the top? Are we gonna screw it or are we gonna weld it? I think we're screwing it. Yeah, we got enough room to screw it all the way across the top because welding it's gonna be a huge pain. So we'll glue it and screw it all the way across the top. We'll glue it and screw it here, glue it and screw it on the bottom, and then we'll weld up our seams. And uh, that should be pretty good. So that's the goal for today, is actually to get this hole right here filled. This whole thing is actually, this whole thing is actually done. These windows are ready to go in. They can be, uh, they can be put in and glued in and siliconed in at any time, but we need to focus on getting this hole right here patched up. And once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and put the windows in. But for now, this is the goal for today, is to get all of this filled in so here we go. Good afternoon everybody, uh, we're working on the bus still. This is taking forever, it's a ton of work. Um, but I just finished up 
with this side welded it all in got the first coat of body filler on there and that makes me super excited so i mean we're getting so close on this thing so we got the front filled in and then we worked on the other side you can see we got the windows in over there that side's totally done and now this side is done besides for body work uh, we still have to do the back here but this means i can put the windows in so that's what i'm going to do next and then we'll talk about the back later but yeah sorry this is taking so long guys it's just a super labor intensive process not all of it is is uh worth filming it takes a lot of time and uh but we're getting there let's get these windows in this one start with this one just like that and then down here as well all the way along there so we're not done yet but we got the windows in we just gotta actually strap them down are in or all of our hold downs yep so I ended up doing one down here this is where the factory one is down here and then I did one right at the top of this one on the bottom of that one and then one up there on each one of these and they look they look good don't think I need any more nah seems good let's take a look from the outside and that right there is all my windows. So we are ready to move on from windows. Well, I still need to cock these in, but other than that, we are done. Look at those. I don't think I've seen anybody do this that I know of. Triple panes on this side. I think they look pretty cool. All right. All right, so I think that's it for this video. Uh, like I was saying earlier, this is a hugely time consuming process and uh, we got only a few more days. What am I guess, well, how many days? We got, this is Saturday and we gotta leave on Wednesday. So, what's that? Three actual days? So, we still gotta do this in three days and a handful of other stuff, like put tail lights on this thing, temporarily. But that's the main thing is get this, get this done. So I'm gonna get those cocked in. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. You're gonna see the finishing of this rear wall on the next one. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.